Good everyone, Mazazoke speaking to you this afternoon. I don't know if you have seen this video. I don't know if you have seen the revelation made by the Abia State Governor, Dr. Alex Oti. Dr. Alex Oti, in a video that really shocked many, said that uh, when he took over from office, he engaged the services of a forensic audit firm, one of the best in the world, to do a forensic audit of the state of Abia. Now, the revelations are as follows, that uh, 79.3 billion Naira was paid to over se seven firms, or rather over seven contractors. 15.9 billion was paid to 63 contractors, and 12 billion was paid for multiple contractors. Now, the one that got many, and the one that has made the headline is that over 10 billion naira was paid and disbursed for the Abia State Airport. Oh yeah, in the Abia. The Lake One Airport or one. Now, so many people of the special in the Abia are now asking, please, where is the airport? Or the flyover in Abia, is it now the runway? The governor jokingly said, where is the airport and looking for the airport now people are telling in Dabia that this airport cannot be seen with human eye that they have to employ the services of artificial intelligence i agree with them we cannot see this airport recall that when the bridge was being built or rather the flyover was being built you know in uh, Aba. The former governor was once said that uh, people who are complaining saying that this flyover hasn't been finished, that they should stop complaining. And by the way, now let me translate, that those who complain about this, uh, actually many of them do not own a car. <laughs> Sorry, but this is a serious issue. You know, we are talking about over 107 billion naira accusation. Now, the question is, Ndabia, why is it this reoccurring decimal? Recall that a former governor in Abia State got to the point of being jailed, but on eventually came out on technicalities. Yet, the same man, when he came out, people jubilated. People went to Oware Airport to receive him. And here, we have again this story of a forensic audit. Again, as being a platform that uh, wants news to be balanced and for you, the viewers, to make their choice. The former Commissioner of Information in Abia State reached out to us, obviously, they know that we're going to make this video. And they provided a video that says this whole money that we, that the gov this current governor is saying was not used for anything. This is where they put in the money. What do we know? Our job here is to say, listen to what the governor of Abia State said. Dr. Alex Oti. Then after listening to Alex Oti, also, in the spirit of being fair and balanced, now listen to what they sent to us as to what they used the whole money to do. One thing that still remains in my mind is, if all these documentations followed due process, why didn't Alex Oti find them in this forensic audit why are you making this public now i mean why is the previous government making this public why wouldn't they submit to alex oti say all oh, these 107 billion you're looking for this is where we put it in please and now is a challenge to the former government and those that worked with that administration to say Go back and challenge this audit report. Get an extraction of that audit report, line by line. Ndabia and Nigerians, especially Ndibo in particular, will want to know these accusations, alleged mismanagement of over 100 billion 
where did the money go? Let me allow you listen to Alex Oti and eventually you now listen to this video. Again, if you haven't subscribed to this platform, please, by all means, do. I am still Mazes, okay? Here, we explore the truth behind the headlines you read every single day. So, talking about corruption, <coughs> I had uh, set up a forensic audit uh, as soon as I took, uh, took over last year in Abia. And um, so that there won't be any argument, I called in uh, one of the top three audit firms in the world. And not too long ago, they turned in their report. And some of the things in the report are frightening. So, some 9.3 billion naira was paid to seven contractors for contracts that were not executed at all up to today. Another 15.9 billion naira, almost 16 billion, was paid to 63 contractors with no supporting documents anywhere in the state. Another 12 billion naira was paid to two contractors for contracts that do not exist. Out of this figure, 10 billion naira was on September 25, 2020. And that is almost four years. Paid to some contractor for the construction of Abia State Airport. We have spent time trying to locate the airport. Um, up to now, we have failed. In fact, one of my aides told me the other day that maybe we are using uh, native intelligence to look for the airport that we should seek artificial intelligence. <laughs> so as we continue to look for airports, we have also involved security agencies to help us search. And uh, so that's just an example of uh, what typically happens. And uh, when you juxtapose that uh, with pensions that we are lying unpaid for about 10 years and uh, salary areas, just one on this head in the 10 billion that was spent to build a non-existent airport was exactly the amount of money that our government used to take up the pension areas.
Lala. <laughs>